penis gone? Ben. Is oh, gone. Ben is gone. <laughs> Penis gone. <laughs> On the main stage this week, the challenge is penis gone. <laughs> It's Miss Cracker, and it's time for Review with the Jew, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 3, Episode 7. Ben de la Creme is gone to begin with. Ben de la Creme sent herself home. But when it comes time for Bibi Zahara Benet to tell everyone who she chose to go home, Bibi refuses to. I'll never tell. And the girls do not like it. For this week's mini challenge, Nancy Pelosi has to preserve Obama's accomplishments while fighting a predominantly Republican House and Senate. Nancy Pelosi has to try to look comfortable in a room full of drag queens. <laughs> Trixie is the most excited. She's literally weeping to see a female icon. I would never cry in the workroom. Anyway, we get a little glimpse of the treats that the girls get in the workroom. Kiss nails. <laughs> This week's challenge is to take on the trend of powerful female films with a mashup of some of America's favorite female dramas and comedies. And since Morgan has had a couple of weeks to rest, she gets to assign the roles on this little project. Given her snooty status, Bibi Zahara Benet of course gets the queen. Bibi Zahara Benet is very upset that she will have to bear the crown of the queen in this little movie. Well, you're not alone, Bibi. No one else wants you to have the crown either. You know what I'm saying? Trixie seems a little bit surprised that she's given the role of a country girl. Sweetheart, look at your confessional outfit. The project got a green light, it's time to shoot the film. Everyone gets in makeup for the production. I mean, like, not BB, but everyone else. Plot twist, we have a new cast member in this production, Blair St. Clair. Morgan just wants to accurately present the lives of actual swans. They only actually hiss. That's if humans come near them. Trixie knows that a lot of acting has to be done in a group scene, and she's fine with doing it all by herself if necessary. When I see her tuck her hair back with her baby's hand, I'm living. And the judge, Chris Colfer, was dying. I died. Life and death in a single scene. What more could you ask for? None of the lines that Shangela gets are funny, but whatever Shangela does, she makes it hilarious. The whole scene culminates in a fart symphony. To me, if you have to resort to bodily functions to be funny, you're struggling as a writer. <sighs> Um, back in the workroom, Kennedy is feeling two things. One, her woman fantasy darling. Two, left out. Even though Kennedy feels like she was a winner in season seven, she feels like no one's there when it comes time for the meet and greets. She wants all stars to launch her career. At Kennedy Airport, it's time for takeoff. Time for the runway. The theme today is red runway. Red runway, red runway. <laughs> for our special guest judges today, we have an adult baby and someone who was styled by Bob the Drag Queen. Yellow dress, blue lips. When I saw Shea Coulee walk onto the runway, I was like, I hope you don't have to lip sync, girl, because RuPaul will tell you to take that thing off of your mouth. In the challenge, it looked like she may have been singing her swan song, but here on the runway, Morgan looks better than she has ever looked. For the red runway, Trixie read the directions correctly. She knows that nothing's read more than a book, so she is red and red and red all over. The red runway is done, and it's time for the queens to get red. The judges say that BB should have taken her character a little bit farther. Maybe wear lashes, I don't know, go crazy. She could have gone a little stronger on her British accent. BB says it's offensive to affect an accent, and then we'll just roll footage of her doing an accent in her comedy scene. I'm the queen of blah, 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 blah. Oh, I have to be a virgin to blah, 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 blah. Remember? In Bitchler. Mm -mm. Here's the thing. England screwed over the entire world for about 400 years, including Cameroon, which they it's okay for us to make fun of them a little bit. Shangela's face looks great. Once again, Kennedy gets assassinated. Oh my <laughs> god. Visage, which is French for face, thinks that Kennedy's makeup is off. 
The nose highlight is too strong. But she's standing next to Trixie. At the end of the day, Trixie and Shangela are in the top, which means that everybody else is in the bottom. Back in the workroom, it's time for the girls to talk amongst themselves. Bibi Zahara Benet says she was just following directions. That excuse did not work at Nuremberg and it will not work here. There's a lot of ignorance in this conversation. Bibi Zahara Benet doesn't know who Ornacia is and Kennedy doesn't know what a meme is. Get ready, they're they gonna meme your ass right to death, bitch. <laughs> meme. Yeah, that. They call me meme. I must have been Is it great. clear what that's from? I mean, you could have been a little bit more on tune, but. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> it's a meme joke. Anyway, I'm done trashing BB. Just kidding, I'm not done trashing BB yet. She tells Trixie that her critiques are just an indication of how great she did. They wouldn't have bothered to ask for more from her if what she had given wasn't great to begin with. When my landlord asked me for more money, it's because he wants more, not because the money I gave him was great. By the way, here's my Venmo right below here. Help. I'm not joking. Okay. While the girls are processing backstage, RuPaul is on the phone. Aja, how soon can you get here? <laughs> but it's time for the lip sync. For some reason, Trixie is performing like she's underwater. She's like... She's like synchronized She's like, like, yeah. she's like, mm, like these hand motions. Like, Armyography. Armyography. <laughs> Stay with your brand. Shangela keeps her shablam and adds some ham. Online, some people were worried that Shangela was turning body shaming into comedy. But on the runway today, fat shaming and foreign accents are just fine. Shangela takes the cake and probably eats it too. It's a fat shaming joke. So she gets to choose who gets home. Huh? <laughs> who gets home? I said that? Yes. <laughs> so she chooses who home? Me, Cracker, you, Jane. She chooses Morgan McMichaels. Luckily, Morgan is an LA queen, so she is saving a lot on airfare. <laughs> <laughs> is the train still running? I fell in love with Morgan McMichaels today because she was so stunning. Farewell, my dear. I'm glad you plaid another chance. So this is it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is this. So this is that. <laughs> this is that. This is it. I don't understand. I don't understand. So this is it, everybody. We are down to the top four. We are going to have to crown another winner. What team are you? Team Shangela? Team Trixie? Team Kennedy? Team BB Zahara Benet. Comment below and let me know what you think. But for now, this has been another review with a Jew. I think we got some really stupid stuff there. Wait, say, uh, watch season 10. I'm gonna be on TV next week, so watch me in season 10! I can't wait to stomp on these bitches' faces. Is adult baby a thing? Chris Colfer. He just looks like an adult baby. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah. What's adult baby? An adult baby? People yeah. who dress up as a baby. Oh, Weird that's diapers. a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. They they like wear diapers and have their boyfriends change them. Right. It's like a fetish thing.